Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardtosun.com and it's time for another Saturday Stamp Day card video. In today's video, I am using the Kawaii Donut Digital Stamp by JW Illustrations. I think that this donut is just so adorable. JW Illustrations is an online shop owned by Jessica Weibel. Jessica creates these adorable digital stamps along with clip art, digital papers, fonts and sometimes even cutting files. As you can see, these digital stamps don't cost a lot of money. As you can see, the, the little donut digital stamp that I'm using in this video is only a dollar. So I just really love these um, products and I'm happy to be showcasing them in today's video. I'm going to start out with a piece of 12x12 paper from Heidi Swap. This is from the 5th Avenue collection from the Mink. Um, line from Heidi Swap and I'm using this polka dot paper. I'm cutting it to two and three quarters of an inch by five and a half. Since I'm quite obsessed with foiling lately I decided to use the pink foil from Heidi Swap. So I'm just going to cut this to the size of my paper just using my scissors. It doesn't have to be straight at all. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to line up that foil with the piece of paper and I'm going to run it through my laminator machine once it is heated. So as you can see I'm using a printer paper to run it through the laminator machine. I also wanted to let you know that this pattern paper is designed to be used with foil. So this technique won't work with regular um, pattern paper. I'm going to peel off the foil and then you will end up with this beautifully foiled piece of pattern paper going to adhere this piece of foil to my card using my ATG by Scotch and just using a regular standard size card that I cut out of some Nina white cardstock. Then over here I have a piece of white cardstock and I just added a strip of adhesive so I can add this beautiful strip of gold glitter paper. Once I line that up, I'm going to adhere it onto my card using some foam adhesive. Next, I'm going to use the adorable Kawaii Donut Digital Stamp from JW Illustrations. After opening the file, after I received it, I just copied and pasted the donut into a Word document and I um, added it into the document in different sizes. Just wanted to let you know that my dad printed this for me um, at work since we don't have a printer that has the right ink to use with Copic markers. So the paper um, of this image is kind of thin because it's just printer paper. So I just um, adhered a piece of Nina White card stuck behind the printer paper just so that I, it's a little bit um, heavier. Here I'm using an E55 Copic marker to add the first base of um, ink and then I'm using the E57 Copic marker to add some shading and then next I'm just blending it all together using the E55 color again. Um, here I'm going to color the icing of the donut and I'm using an RV0000 Copic marker for that and then I'm just going to add some shading using RV13 um, so I'm just going around the edges of that donut and then I'm blending it together using the lightest color again. I'm going to color those little dots using the RV06 Copic marker. This is a beautiful pink color. And I'm going to color out, um, I'm going to cut out all of these images using my EK Success Color B scissors. Except for that little circle in the center, I'm using um, a tiny die cut from the Lanfang Circle Stackables die cut set. As you can see, this little uh, circle die cut matches that circle in the center of the image perfectly. So I was very happy when I ran that through my Big Shot machine. I decided to add some extra uh, icing to this donut using glossy accents. So I just taped down that donut on a piece of scrap paper using washi tape to do that. And then I'm going to piece together the donut using some foam adhesive and my EK Success tweezers. I'm going to use the Pretty Pink Posh Stitched Labels die cut set. I'm going to die cut one of those labels out of some white cardstock. 
And then I'm going to die cut that little heart from the same die cut set out of the tag. I'm going to use the negative piece of that foil that we used earlier and I'm going to use it to die cut that uh, tag once again. I'm going to adhere it behind the white tag or the label. And then next I am going to stamp a sentiment using the Sugar Rush stamp set from Winnie and Walter. I think that this stamp set matches the donut perfectly. Piece together a happy birthday greeting and I'm going to stamp that onto the label using Memento Textito Black Ink. Um, I used some foam adhesive um, to, adhere, to adhere this label onto my card. So just like that and then last but not least I'm going to finish off this card using some pre pink posh sequins. I used the sequins from the springtime mix and then I also added some uh, sparkling clear sequins since those are my favorite pre pink posh sequins. So that finishes up the card. As you can see there's a lot of glitter and sparkle um, on it. So I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!